Salmon fly season, more like slamming fly season. It's the only slamming fly or salmon fly I like to fish when the big bugs are out. Come watch. I'm gonna tie for you the slamming fly. Big foam bug I like to use there in July on the South Fork. We'll start with a U680 streamer hook in a size six. I like these guys, they're a little bit more of a stinger bend to it, real grabby hook and a little heavy gauge so it kills the fly super well. We're also going to dress the hook with some Simperfly 6 op fluorescent orange classic waxed. We're going to dress this all the way down the shank. Give our thread a counterclockwise spin. While that's spinning, we'll throw some glue on our shank. And we'll do big wraps going forward with a nice tight core so our little foam bodies will sit centered on the shank of the hook and i'm going to punch some six mil tan foam with the chernobyl punch and i'm also going to take a a razor blade I'm gonna split the belly of that so we can get that securely fastened to the shank of the hook split that foam get that guy centered on there pinched around makes for a nice clean belly We'll start with three or four soft wraps. Our first segment, I like to use my index finger to press and place where my thread's gonna go. Makes for manipulating that foam a lot easier. And then I like to do a technique that I call a pinch and cinch. Helps, helps keep that control. Now I'm going to flip this guy around after this first segment and with this technique it allows you to access the extended body a lot easier but you got to reverse your thread wraps to where you're going back towards you instead of away from you over the top and we'll do the same technique of the pinch and cinch going back we'll do that three times for a nice segment and then on this last one just to make the reveal for thread on the bottom nice and even I like to do an extra three wraps because when we jump our thread back forward we add three wraps every time to each segment and once we get to this step jump it back to the forward facing position and do the same pinch and cinch techniques Get that thread all the way back up to its original tie-in point. And then from here, we're going to tie in some span flex for our tail fibers. I'm going to take that guy, fold in half, get that stuck there on top. Do a couple wraps, lay that over. And then I'm going to take the same, the same punch. I'm going to punch some two mil tan foam and we're going to use that as a wing over the segmented body which helps which helps it float and also secure those thread wraps down to make it a little bit more of a durable fly so I'm going to lay that tan foam just a little bit past the extension of that segmented body we'll Tie this in with two soft wraps, do a pinch and cinch, and do one more securing wrap. And I want to take some zappa gap, we'll fold that back and we'll glue along the top there on our little X wraps where we 
we're jumping back and forth and that'll help place our tails and help secure that wing down pinch that guy and let it set trim those tails just past the, the wing and then our next step is going to be tying in our poly wing I'm using some beige EP fibers I'll trim that back and get that out of the way do some beige EP fibers I'm going to measure this stuff to be about as long as the body I'm going to tie that in with two wraps I'm actually going to jump forward and do my head segmentation and I'm going to capture that EP fiber down with two wraps on the front and then fold it back and that way it really locks those guys into place helps keep everything nice and clean trim those tails or trim that wing just past the the foam wing there and then for our next we're going to tie in next material is going to be some speckled or some centipede legs and some brown and tan we're going to tie that in in two pieces we'll do two soft wraps we'll trim those guys and then we'll take each of those legs and we will splay them to either side of the bug right in the middle and we'll do two more wraps a little, a little cinch to secure that guy then I've got some indicator foam just a two mil orange I like to trim those guys at an angle we'll tie that in with two soft wraps and then we'll pinch and cinch and we'll fold our indicator foam back we'll jump back forward to the front now we're going to do the same same thing with these centipede legs we tie two of them in do two soft wraps we'll trim those guys all four at the same time We'll finesse those to each side. Do a little two more wraps to secure those in. And then we'll get some more span flex for the antenna. We'll do the same technique. We'll fold it in half around the thread. And we'll secure that with two wraps. We'll trim those guys a little long. And then to help secure this fly, we'll do a little bit more zap right on the top to help keep everything stay together. Lay that down. Do a little two wrap softy pinch and cinch one last time. Trim that foam and then do a big hand whip finish. Trim that guy back. We'll take the corners off of the the head of the fly here kind of round that up and then I like to do some some sharpie some tattoo work on the wing just stripe that guy gives it a little bit more texture and realism while you're trying to trick them bone eating trout now brush that out super leggy super buoyant really good really good fly to throw some hang some droppers underneath and 
get some trout to eat on the South Fork. It's slamming fly.